Welcome to the last conversation uh, in this International Alzheimer's Awareness Month. Today I want to focus on something that is very close to my heart, and that is the question, what happens to one's sense of self when a person is living with dementia? Now, when we talk about the sense of self, it is, it is about consciousness. It's about being aware of who I am. Sadly, I so often hear people say, well, you know, she's no longer our mother. We don't go and visit her because she doesn't know us. Or he's no longer my grandfather. I want to remember him the way he was. That is not true. When a person is living with dementia, they are always conscious of the who am I. There is an extensive amount of research on this topic. Uh, some of the best work done by someone called Pia Contos, who focuses on the sense of self and the person behind the disease. Pia Contos comes up with three dimensions of self. The first is that, that very deep rooted I am, the knowing that I am, the consciousness of I am that I am. That is intact even in the latest stages of dementia. The second layer of self is that which defines my emotional being, my personality. I am an introvert, I am an extrovert, my psychological makeup, that is not eroded by dementia, even into the latest stages. If you think of the story I told of Mrs. Cohen, that is a sense of self, of knowing who I am. The third sense of self is my publicly presented sense of self. And I so often see this when people live in institutional care, uh, they're not dressed properly, maybe they've never been outside of their room without makeup or wearing a bra. Sometimes I see men in floppy tracksuit pants because it's easier for the staff to manage when they need to go to the bathroom. I distinctly remember my grandfather who had a person caring for him in the later stages of his Alzheimer's disease. And one day she said, you know, your grandfather refuses to come out of the bedroom and I've tried everything. He does not want to come out of the bedroom. I went into the room and saw that she had dressed him as he was always dressed, but that she did not roll up his sleeves. Now, in in all the years that I know my grandfather, he never appeared in public without a proper dress shirt and the sleeves rolled up to just above the elbow. I went over to him and I rolled up his sleeves and all was well. We see that people withdraw, that they don't want to go out, they do not want to leave their room, and we just attribute this again to the disease. But maybe there is another reason. Maybe that person does not feel that they can publicly present themselves. This sense of self is also not eroded by dementia. We should be very, very, very careful about what we attribute to dementia and what we inflict on people. Tomorrow is my mother's 80th birthday. She is living with memory loss. And I know that this celebration means the world to her because she is still my mother. And if there ever comes a time, God forbid, that she forgets my name or that I don't see recognition on her face, I will know in my being with her, 
that I am her son and that nothing, not even dementia, can change the fact that she is my mother.